And if I close my eyes, I could still remember the pain. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. setting up my ring light. I had a hard time because I don't have the tripod but yeah I still managed to do it. I have actually done this one before the get to know me tag questions during my live stream but I was so distracted with my audience so I was not able to finish them all up. And if you want to get to know me just continue watching this video. So I grew up in Coronadel City, South Cotabato. And I'm now living here in Rayong, Thailand. I'm not really particular with one person, but throughout my journey in my life, I have many best friends and I cannot name one, sadly, because if I name one, someone might get offended or hurt. I don't want that to happen, but during my high school days, I have this circle of friends. My best friends are Marianne, Roseanne, Giselle, and Kirsty. And my best cousin is Amor. Growing up also, one of my best friends is Dane. I call her Steel Kambal today. And what else? Who else? <laughs> so, my height is Bantai Bata, 163 centimeters. I used to love them both. I'm an animal lover. I love animals. I love, I love cute things. Uh, I want to squish cute things but lately I'm more into cats than dogs. Sorry for the dog lovers. I still love the dogs but not for the fact that they are running after me when I'm doing my cycling. I'm like considering myself like I'm a vampire and the dogs are the lichens and... Nani? <laughs> I'll just whisper it to myself like, like an unsight so... I need to fight for my life. <laughs> I personally think that my high school days are the most boring days of my life. I was an achiever way back in the year 2006 to 2010 and I'm just trying to be that good student. I don't want to be a headache to my teachers so I didn't do any nasty things. But the thing that has come into my mind, I don't think if you'll find this funny, but when our teacher said that we should find like indigenous materials, my classmates and I went out to like a mini forest in our school and then suddenly I tried to pull some leaves out of the shrub and poof! The stinging bee just flew and it stung my eye here. And if I close my eyes, I could still remember the pain. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. My classmates, they were teasing me like, Oh no, you will have uh, bulgy eyes tomorrow morning or the next day. But luckily, my friend just removed that um, thing that was stuck or that was left by the bee in my eye. And voila! The next day, I came to school with normal eyes. So... 1993. Just do the math and you'll know my age. <laughs> I have actually loved college more than high school days because I was supposed to stay in college for five years, but I stayed for six years because college is more fun. And the first course that I took was accountancy. I don't know why I took that course. I don't know anything about the counting. So, because I have gotten all sorts of grades, like, yeah, Cinco, INC, what else? Drop. So, any grade that you will see in your record, I got it all. Because I was skipping classes, I was cutting classes 
in my university days. That's why my dad decided to transfer me from a public university to a private university. I don't know what happened to me back then in my university days. I just felt like I was someone who was released out of a cage. I just wanted to explore. I wanted to explore. The college days were like my freedom that I've been wanting for a while, but I think I abused it. So I was not really focused on my studies. That's why, yeah, I got what I saw. Ah, uh, is this MMK? I'm telling you more than what you should know. <laughs> okay, my favorite drink is coconut juice because I feel like coconut juice has this cleansing properties. Yeah, it's diuretic. It will make you pee. I don't know if it's a spirit animal, but if people would ask me if I would become an animal, then what do I want to be and why? The first thing that comes in my mind, though it's very far from my personality, but I wanted to be an eagle because first, eagles only do have one partner in their lifetime, and next, they soar up above the storms in their life. So I wanted to be that type of person. Though I'm usually creating my own problem. I'm not really particular with scents or perfumes or colognes because I have sinusitis. So I don't wear perfume. Yeah, I don't wear perfume any cologne because it will just trigger my sinusitis and I don't want that. I don't want to suffer. Tea or coffee? It's Tea. It's tea because I don't drink coffee and I'm more to drinking green tea though my dad told me that tea is not really good also in our body because yeah it's quite addicting. My life goal is to be happy. No, I my college instructor asked me this question before and I said to him that after 10 years that was way back in 2015. Oh, five years have passed. He asked me if what are my goals in life, like how do I see myself in five years from now. I told him that I have a family of my own, that I will be a college professor. That's what just I told him. I never talked about business or being a CEO of my own company. I don't know. I just. Up until now, I'm not really certain about the things that I would want to do. But one thing is certain, I want to go somewhere in the western part of the world where there is snow. Because I'm so tired of getting ice from my refrigerator. So I just wanted to experience snow, even only once. So I'm not a sports person and I was younger. But today, I've been exposed to many sports. Though I'm not good. I'm still a noob. I play volleyball. I play basketball. I play table tennis. I just play but I'm not a pro, okay? The book entitled Feed for Life by Harvey and Marilyn Diamond. That's the life changer book that I have read. One of the books also is The Desire of Ages. If you don't know, Desire of Ages is an account or story about the life of Jesus Christ written by Ellen White. So, if you want to know more about Jesus, about his life, just read that book. That book is very detailed. It will tell you more about the things that happened in the Bible. The first thing that popped up in my mind is the Shawshank Redemption. Because I was really touched by the story, I, could, I think I could watch it again. The first name that popped up in my mind is Chloe Ting because I've been doing also her workouts. I've been following her workout routines and it works. So next, Bebe Shaw because I love doing hairstyle. Next, Milabu because she's very fantastic in doing hairstyles for short hair. Next, I also love her personality and also silver plates. Yeah, Civil Place is like the genius in doing hairstyle. Like he, she can imitate intricately the hairstyles from different uh, shows. I have not bought her book, but I hope I could make this hair long again and I could do some hairstyles. Though I did not regret cutting my hair short because 
I love it. So I can speak well Filipino because I'm a Filipina. Next, I can speak Bisaya because I'm a Cebuana. Third, I can speak Ilonggo because I grew up from Peronadal City where most of the people are Ilonggos. And yeah, English. <laughs> That's, I think I'm just gonna challenge myself to learn new words or new languages per year so that I'll be smarter. I perhaps so. Though I am having a hard time distinguishing Bisaya from Ilonggo, that's why the way I communicate is like sak sak sinagol. It's like Oh. Mixed up. So, na pagsalita ko ng Tagalog ng mas maayos dahil lumaki ako sa Manila. Doon kami nanirahan ng mga limang taon din. Di ka rin naman yan, katong size anyos na ko, nagbali naman kami dito sa may Corona da City kay uh, mabudlay din ang panginabuhi sa Manila. So, ang ako nga mama kag papa, nag-decide sila nga mag-start na lang kami sa Corona del City kaya mas maayong panginabuhi ara man dito nga mong nga mga relatives and and kadugayan katong nag-college na ko of course ang mga tao dito kay mga bisdakman sa Gensan so nakatoon na po ko istorya o binisaya mara na siya akong story and hindi ka pumating lang ang gagamit ko sa English in doing my vlogs just because I am lazy in putting subtitles in my videos. Since English is the international language, I just wanted everyone who can see this video to uh, nila ako. Okay, I'm single but not available. I'm already taken. Somebody has took my heart away. When my whole world was gray. <laughs> so... Shout out to you again. If you have been watching my vlogs, you know this person already. I am always fond of going by the beach side. Maybe my dream date will just be like walking on a sunset, holding hands with the one I love. Okay, my longest relationship is my relationship now. We're turning four years. Yeah, four years this coming July. So, sana all. <laughs> Comfort over fashion. That's it. Our function over fashion. I'm not into OOTDs. Actually, I don't buy clothes because many people are like giving away their clothes for me. I receive clothes from my church mates, from my cousins. I don't need to buy new clothes because even though I don't buy clothes, there are so much blessings that coming in my life. I need not to buy clothes and I still have a lot of clothes because there are many people who are like very generous and they're giving me clothes all the time. So shout out to all those people. You know who you are. You are a very good person and I love you all very much. Yeah. Ponytail or braids because I love braiding my hair. Okay, I do have Two brothers, yeah, two older brothers. I'm the only girl in the family aside from my mom, of course. Since I'm a vegetarian, it's french fries. But technically, french fries is not good for the body. So, if I'm in a hurry, I'll just eat fruits. The safest. My most memorable vacation memory was the recent one last year when we went to Bohol. And I met the family of my boyfriend there and it was so, 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 so nice. Probably because I don't take too many vacations because I don't have a lot of money. In my morning routine, I just wake up. Sometimes I forget to pray. I forget to thank God that He woke me up that day. The next, I don't eat breakfast. I just take a bath, change clothes and go to school right away because I work in school and <laughs> evening routine I just yeah, after I eat food I just take a rest do Facebook do YouTube if I could still remember to wash my face then I will wash my face and if I don't remember then I won't and I just sleep 
Do I need to have routine? Okay, the most killer bad habit is procrastination. I'm a chronic procrastinator that I don't feel that pressure is on me, it's on my system. Pressure has been there for a very long time and because it's been in my system for a very long time, I think the pressure just neutralized itself from deep within. So any pressure, like it won't really push me to do the work. And that's the thing about me. I feel so relaxed that I don't feel troubled or threatened. And I think it's not a good thing. I don't know, I'm so calm. With that, you're so pressured and you're so calm at the same time. I think the only thing that would motivate me is deadline. And sad to say that deadlines don't really motivate me from now on. I don't know if I'm at its optimist or I'm just a lazy person. So guys, that's all for my video this time. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And if you have, just kindly give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment there whenever you like to and that's all for now guys good night it's already 11 2 p.m and i need to get some sleep so that's all for now guys good night and see you around